clash of the captains it is then with the Weber Cup finally balanced the Americans who've led from the get-go still in front here 9-8 will it be 10-8 after this or will parity be restored they met in the final match of the Friday night session Rash was on the wrong end of that one Rash playing sparingly today as well he's talked about his issues with his lower back didn't seem to uh, hamper him at all when he played this afternoon but Barrett will be looking to try and uh, turn up the heat and make that back feel a little bit more sore if he possibly can they needed him to step up last night because the Americans have made that great start and he did let's see if he can do it again here yes it's uh, Barrett had the win the last time they met 255 to uh, Rash is 2.15. We're still wondering whether his back will survive. He did complain about it. Whether he's had any chiropractic work or not, we don't know. But uh, he's going to test it on the line now. We're on a freshly dressed lane. 42 feet of oil. There's four times as much oil in the centre part of the lane as there is on the outside. It tapers away to either edge. So these guys will probably be playing reasonably straight down the line, but it will be interesting to see from the get-go. Well, he drifted out of the pocket quite horribly there and is very fortunate to avoid a split. I'm not sure if it, Sean actually stuck on the approach there with that Something one. Something happened, yeah. Because he looked down immediately, didn't he? Uh, it leaves the 4-9 split and the four-pin top was over, so a single-pin spirit is what it will be to open up with. I think we should keep an eye on him physically as well here, because, as you say, he didn't, uh, he didn't bowl smoothly right there. And he looked kind of surprised as well, but if you... On your sliding foot, if you do stick, and there's the uh, Don Barrett Appreciation Society sending up in the bleachers there. If you do stick on your slide foot, it's not going to do your back any good whatsoever. Do his back any good, seeing Don Barrett come out with a textbook strike to open this one up. I'm not going to ask about the hats and the sunglasses, but each to their own. Barrett's happy to have him here. Team Europe's happy to have him here. Well, this man is ready to try and restore parity here. Now, let's see how he gets on. He definitely... His, his approach is a little bit more cautious, I think, Cass. I could be wrong, and I'd be interested in your take here. He doesn't seem to be putting quite the power and the revs into these early balls as we've seen earlier in the competition. I don't think he's having that a deep knee bend and slide forward. He's kind of checking himself, which may not be a good sign. Yeah, we will keep an eye on that. He's spared out again yeah he looks a little bit anxious there yeah, wasn't he? he he doesn't look right he wasn't quite sure whether to stand up sit down there or look for some sympathy perhaps he's not going to get any from Don Barrett who's going to probably try and blast another strike but as you say it's quite interesting we might just have to keep an eye on Sean Rash and we'll certainly have to keep an eye on Don Barrett if he's bowling like this that's two for two well, the former world champion on the PBO Tour is um, 250, and if he keeps going like this, he'll hit another 250. Uh, meanwhile, Rash is getting ready. Uh, that's another single pin stuck in the corner for the American. He managed to execute that one kind of okay, and he made the pocket. But I gotta, there's something you know, signal. He's raised up off the shot, looked to the side of the lane, as if he didn't think it was going to go in the right place. It did, but didn't carry. And he's just made the square in the corner. Yeah, It'll be interesting to hear from him afterwards. Whatever happens for the rest of the match, and uh, some chit chat going on between the skippers. It'll be interesting, Guy Kaminsky's views about this as well. It doesn't look physically the same Sean Rash as we've seen I don't know how much we're making of that but he doesn't look quite right 
be interesting to hear what he said to Don Barrett, actually, apart from give me the money. Uh, the dominator is living up to his nickname here. That's a turkey for the skipper. Yes, yeah, a nice tight shot straight down, sort of about 15, third arrow. Hard and fast, just turns up nice, slightly high on the head pin, but it's set up the chain reaction in the pin deck. Carries all ten for three strikes in a row. Well, Rash has got to try and get himself in the strike zone. I know that is stating the obvious, but we've had a little bit of everything so far from him. He's been sparing out safety, but spares are not going to win him this match. Well, he's just taken a re-rack on the, with the pins, which he's allowed to do. Maybe he thought uh, one of them was a little bit off spot, but yeah, we need to keep an eye on him, yeah. See if we can see uh, any signs of uh, discomfort. Well, he looked a bit better physically on the approach there, but it, nothing is falling for him, is it? Well, he's suffering as others have suffered in this tournament. In the pocket, even a single pin, and the match is actually slipping away quite quickly, even after four frames, uh, Nick. Well, when your opponent is striking out and you're sparing out, the gap's just going to grow frame by frame, and he's not had a strike yet. That's four, nine spares. It's consistent. Bowled a 2.55 to beat Rash, who registered a 2.24 late last night. Yeah, we said earlier that Dom has been averaging uh, 2.50 in his singles matches. He's a 2.32, 2.55, and 2.67 of his three singles matches. And he rings the 10 pin in the corner in frame number four. So another 300 potential bites the dust. Cry, that six pin just rang around that 10 pin, didn't say, it? How did it miss? Well, they call it the ring 10. It's the six pin that doesn't do the damage when it's supposed to. No dramas with his spare ball. Now. This is the chance, you would think, if Rash is going to make a match of this. He's done everything but strike so far. Maybe it's time for a ball change. I mean, he hasn't been that far off. Doesn't look as though he's made a change that I can see. His approach is good, and this time, finally, he gets the strike. At long last, has it come too late? Or have we got ourselves a match after all? Well, he was down on one knee looking for this shot. It's absolutely ripped the rack perfectly. The best shot he's thrown in five frames, and uh, he's saying thank you to someone. Because he didn't leave a corner pin. Now, Barrett's got to hope he gets back on strike here, otherwise you could see that healthy little lead just get nibbled away. It won't take much. Look at that. Same pin. Yeah, the curse of the right-hander is the, uh, the 10 pin. It's all to do with the angle that the ball goes into the pocket. Well, you can't see with the naked eye at that sort of speed. But you can see the ball just slightly deflects. It pushes the three onto the six, likely, and the six goes sideways. So he starts out with three strikes, then two spares. For Rash, four spares. And he's now looking for his first double. 
the pendulum continues to swing in his direction here. And I tell you, a strike here will set the alarm bells ringing for the Europeans. Look at that. Here he comes. Well, the nice thing about the game that Sean is bowling, you know, he's just shot two strikes. He stayed clean. He's had nine spares all the way, which, in the context of a game, is not, not too bad. And at least two of those nine spares. He was very unlucky not to get the full set. Yeah, he's still in the match. Very much so. It's just a matter of whether Dom will give up any pins to let Rash back in. Well, I'll tell you what, this better be a strike. It is. That's just what Barrett needed. Maintains the 22-pin lead that he had with a great-looking shot. The ball comes roaring back from the outside of the lane. Cascades into those pins and takes them all out. So here's Rash looking to convert his double into a turkey. Doesn't seem to be any issues with his movement at all. Oh, the messenger hung around and then just said, yeah. A power play from the American skipper takes out that 10. I think this uh, shot actually quite surprised Sean himself. Look at that. Dear, oh dear, that headpin's bouncing all over the place. Unbelievable action. Big muscle ball from the captain. He enjoyed that one. And it made three strikes in a row, so... Maybe a little bit of pressure here on Don Barrett just to shoot another I think one. There's a lot of pressure on Don Barrett. Because if he doesn't strike here, his lead is very, very slender indeed. Needed that. And he just stays with him. But we've still got three frames to go here. And I tell you, Rash has regrouped so well from those first four frames where he nine spared all the way. He's forcing a big performance here out of Barrett. Absolutely, Nick, yes. Whatever Rash does, Barrett has to do as well. He's still got 22 pins in the lead. Three frames to go. Yeah, that's his worst enemy here. There's his fall back. Big turnaround for Rash. Four spares, four strikes. And it was early days that we were slightly concerned that maybe he had a bit of a a health problem with his back, but he's certainly come through that. Well, the first couple of frames he didn't look quite right. And, uh, there's Jesper Svensson looking on. He didn't look right those first couple of frames, but once he loosened up, well, had no problems. Yeah, you know, footloose job, isn't it? Now, there is still time for Barrett to get over a hauled here. So to keep this 22-pin advantage, this must take all 10, and does. So, two frames left. It absolutely forces Rash to strike out and now hope for the best. That was a very important strike. Well, Don Barrett is reacting as a former world champion and one of the top players in the world would react. He's bowled six strikes. Oh, that's unlucky. It uh, looked, I mean, we'll have to see the replay, but that looked a decent pocket hit. And on another day, that 10 would have gone. And that may be the shot or the pin that loses this one for Rash. Well, let's see, is it a good clean pocket hit? I mean, there's not much you change there. Well, a little bit light, I'm afraid. That's what I thought. And so it's just a spare. And that is that, as far as this man is concerned. Yeah, one more shot here in the pocket and the carry all ten, and the match is over. Well, he can spare out as well, just stay clean. Uh, he too right, takes a re-rack, which he's allowed to do, just to set up another rack of pins. Still got a potential 278 game there, Nick. That's uh, pretty high stuff. Well, I swear his singles play is just getting better and better. Well, a 267 earlier today. And you think he started out with a 232 and then a 255. 
And today at 267, he's on course to break that. Match point, match one. Yep, doesn't matter what happens now. That is an unassailable lead going into the last frame for Don Barrett. Yeah, that's the real captain's innings. Starts with three strikes. He's got four in a row with one frame to go, and the match is won. Yeah, not his day. He's not the kind of guy that's going to make an excuse about his back either. You don't get the impression that he's going to start saying, well, yeah, those first couple of frames, I wasn't quite right. But I do wonder, leaves himself an open there just to finish off with. It did seem to take him a couple of frames to get going, didn't it? It did, yes, and it was pretty unfortunate. But as we've said before, it's a marathon tournament with lots of little sprints of just one game only. What about that? Barrett. 278. Barrett's all over the lane and all over Rash. Well, he just keeps getting better and better, the skipper, from 232 to 255 to 267. Now a 278 game. Dominic Barrett getting better and better. Europe back on terms. It's nine all now in this race to 19. This Weber Cup looks already this early in the competition like it is heading right down to the wire. A captain's effort there from Don Barrett in the Battle of the Captains. He leads Sean Rash 2-0. After that, 278-224 victory.